All right, so in this video, we're actually at the stage where we're going to test some stuff. So we've done a ton of work, ton of leg work, and we've got a, five products that are all ready to go. And now we have to test these things to see which one is the best one. So to do so, we create an ad campaign for it. So I'm going to click Create. Go to your Ads Manager. Click Create. Go 001. We'll call this Test. We'll put the date. And then we'll put All Test Campaigns. Now, under a Campaign Objective, we're going to go with something different. Conversions and Optimize for Purchases. Our first ad set is going to be for sons. Or sorry, let's call it this, dad to son. So I'm going to put all my tests into one ad set. And then all my future tests are going to go under this ad set as well. I'm going to control it at the ad level. So you're going to see how this works in a second. And what this will do is in the future, say I've got five more tests I want to run, I'm going to come back to this ad set and I'm going to run them. But first, click on search, campaign name, move this over, search, campaign name, 001. That makes sure you're in this campaign. Click it and then click edit. Now you're into this ad set. So now we have to set up the targeting. So I have a conversion event my engraving profit pixel which is the same one that we added before starts with 169 there we go so I set that up you get some warnings but that's fine uh, dynamic creative we don't need that offer we don't need that now here is what I do I set this to hundred dollars a day and I'm gonna start this today is the 8th I'm not gonna start it at 3 p.m. I'm gonna start it at 6 p.m. Because I want to hit the evening traffic as hard as, pro as possible. Um, so for at 6 o'clock, this ad set will turn on for Facebook. And that's kind of prime time for traffic usually. So when we're running our tests in the future, you'll see that turn your ads on at 6 o'clock. When you first start, you can schedule when to start it. Later on, you just control it manually by actually turning it on or off at a certain time. Your ads, okay? So custom audiences, I don't have any. I'm going to target the U.S. for this because that's where my shipping is set up for. United States. I'm going to do men. I'm going to do 40 plus. Because I figure if they're 40, they probably have a son who's, I don't know, 12. Could even go older if I wanted. Could go like 45. 40 seems to work. So that leaves me with 445 million possible uh, men in the US. So I want to put some targeting on here. Now one of the good ones that I like is this, Sun, which brings it down to 1.2 million people. But then you can also go further and do this, make sure that it's a parent, parents all. So now we're down to 610,000 people. You can take it even a step further and you can do this one, which is one of my favorite, engage shoppers. This interest, as you can see, so people have clicked the call to action button shop now in the past week. How awesome is that? Now we're down to 300,000 people. We can pretty much run this test ad set for a long, long time. And we'll, we're, no, we're not going to burn through that 300,000 people. So that's a very good size. So let's click on edit placement. We're just going to run it on mobile only. And we're just going to do the feeds on Facebook. So we just leave feeds checked and we remove everything else. And down here, under the optimization for ad delivery, leave it on conversions, even though it says they don't have any. We'll get some. I'd like to put mine to one day click because this is kind of a, an impulse buy, more or less. So they're going to buy it right away or they're not. We're going to hit them with retargeting ads later on the ones that work, but the ones that don't, we're just going to, you know, they bought it or they didn't. We're going to leave, leave it on auto bid, so lowest cost. Get the most purchases for your budget. We'll just leave it there. Later on, we can come in and play with these with some scaling campaigns. So that is it for my ad set. Now, okay, that's great, Will, but I have five products I want to test. How the heck am I going to do this? Well, watch this. I'm going to go into the ad, into the ad set. Now I'm on the ads tab. And this is where I'm going to edit this first one to be our first test. So I'll go 001-01. 
and this one, if we go back to our remember these posts, so we'll go to this, and see this little ID here? We're going to copy that ID, and this one is to my son, no matter who, okay? So I'll go back here, I'm going to enter my um, camp, or sorry, pick your Facebook page, family time. Up here, I'm going to change the name to my son, no matter who, okay? And then here is the beauty of it. I'm going to use an existing post, and then enter post ID, paste that in, click submit, and it'll pull up that post I did earlier. Right there. Perfect, right? And then for tracking, just make sure that's turned on to our pixel, and that one's done. So now I've got one done, but I got more. So what do I do? Well, I'm not going to do another ad set. I've got my targeting set up. I'm going to do another ad. So do a duplicate of the ad. Go back here. Grab the next one, which is this one. So grab that post ID again. And this one is, I don't say it enough. So let's go back here to my son. I don't say it enough. All we're going to do is enter a post ID, submit, that will change it to our next one. Okay. And then I can change a number too if I want. Don't really have to, but might as well. And then we'll just go back here and we'll do a duplicate of that one. Duplicate. Go back here. X out of this. Click on the third one. Grab the ID. To my awesome son. Never forget. So let's change this to a 2, to my awesome son, never forget. And then what am I going to do? Just change that post ID. Submit. So I've got 3 ready now. Change that number 2 to a 3. Now I've got 2 more to do, so do another duplicate. Go back here, X out, go to the th fourth one. This one is the greatest gift I ever had came from God. I call him son. I don't know if this one will work or not, but not my cup of tea, but that, like I said, it doesn't matter. So let's call this the greatest gift one. Enter the post ID, paste, submit. Changes are nice. Now let's do another duplicate for number five. Let's go back here and grab that ID. So this one, I don't know about this one either. I put three lines of text instead of two. So if I can only give you one thing. So let's go here, continue with the duplicate, call it number five. I changed the wording too. I said, son instead of to my son if i could could only give you one thing now let's enter that post id click submit there we go there's all our posts are all ready to go so now what do i do review and publish and then click publish and now what's happening is they're uploading the, cam the campaign, the ad set, and the five ads within the ad set to Facebook. This will start at 6 o'clock today. And then what I'll see when I go into my ads manager back here, I'll actually see the results. So I can see what I'm looking at. So I can see um, the content views and everything else, the add to cart, everything that I need in order to see under my check. So you want to set your columns up to look like this. Okay. And then we'll see the results from there. Make sense? Good. Good stuff. Go ahead and do that now.